What's going on everybody, Kenny Dubs here with a Pokemon Masters Data Mine discussion. It's been a little while since I've sat down and done one of these. Uh, but I had some time and I uh, was looking at the Data Mine stuff. Uh, I saw it this morning before I went to bed, but I wanted to wait a little bit to see if any more information came out. And apparently more stuff came out. So for the 2.5 anniversary, as most of us already know, uh, man, Latias are going to be a sync pair we're going to get. Uh, we're also getting... Um, Christmas Seabold EX. That's pretty cool, uh, because he didn't have an EX. I don't even know if he had a grid prior to this. I don't think he did. I think that Christmas Rosa got a grid in EX, but they just kind of left Christmas Seabold high and dry, which is pretty weird. Uh, however, uh, May and Latias are going to be a Poke Fair. Um, not really much to say here. Uh, May and Latias. Uh, they are a tech pair, which we know of. Uh, they're Poke pair, which we now know as well. And uh, they're a psychic type. Um, which is, for me, that that's just like, eh, it's like, I already got Mewtwo. I don't really need more psychic types, personally. Uh, but they have Psychic Wish, which actually allows them to set up Psychic Terrain, which is very, very interesting. Because I know a lot of people were talking about, like, oh, Psychic Wish, is this going to be, like, you know, um, Psychic Zones? Like, no, it's more likely going to be... Psychic Terrain, uh, which it is, uh, but that's also kind of weird because Latias can't actually get Psychic Terrain, uh, nor would it be able to benefit from it, even if it could in the mainland series, but that doesn't matter here. Um, so, you know, that's pretty cool. We have another Terrain Tider, which is always nice, and Latias. Um, I don't remember much about the kit. I'll go to that when I record for, you know, the, the Sync Pair individually, but it's cool we have another Psychic Terrain Tider. And I like, I like the dress that May has as well. Uh, I think I like this one more. Oh, she also Mega Evolved with her Sync move. That's pretty cool. Uh, I was semi-tempted to pull on her. I was just like, mm, I was like, I like Latias, but like Mewtwo was right there. I already have Musharna as well with Psychic Terrain, but glad well, to just be an upgrade to Musharna. Next up, we have Anniversary Skyla and Tornadus Therian. And I like Tornadus Therian, so I was interested in this at first. Uh, Skyla looks uh, pretty, pretty interesting. She doesn't change too much between her EX and her non-EX outfit. Uh, it was really interesting that they gave her Tornadus Therian. Um, I felt, uh, but yeah, that's going to be a, another sync pair again. I'll go more into detail on that in a later video. And then the next one is Raihan and Flygon. Um, you know, that's, it's kind of fine. Uh, I actually, I like the green and black going on here for his EX outfit. Oh, all these are tech pairs, by the way, as well. So just in case you were tired of, uh, getting tech pairs, we're getting more tech pairs. So don't be tough. God, even... Even the one that's getting an EX this month, the the um, or the next EX is a tech pair. Like Jesus, Dino, please, we need. <laughs> I need my my tech candies to to try and recuperate, please. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Ryan and Flygon is a, another member as well that we're getting. Uh, these will have Dynamax moves because Ryan's from Gen Eight. And then we also have the Victory Road going on as well. It just started. Uh, Victory Road, uh, the TLDR about that is like a little tutorial thing. Uh, once you complete it, uh, you actually get a ticket that allows you to get one of these things Canto, Canto Trio. So for those of you that do not have Sinus Suit Blue yet, uh, now is a very good time to get him because he is still one of the best supports in the game. Or you could go with Sinus Suit Leaf or Sinus Suit Red as well. Those are also options. Okay, here we have the calendar of events for this, um, you know, until the next data mine from February 24th, which is today until uh, March 14th, uh, which is pretty interesting. So you see we have Victory Road Special Mission Bundle, uh, Victory Road One Type Scout, uh, all this other stuff as well. You see, um, is it the main Ladia Stouts, Stouts start on February 28th? Uh, Skyla starts on the 2nd of March, and Ryan starts on the 4th of March. Um, we're getting anything else to great uh, Neural and Fairy type egg event, which is interesting because uh, Munchlax is going to be an egg Pokemon as well. You can get a shiny Munchlax. Uh, something about Ditto was involved with this too. I don't remember what, I just remember seeing it in the data information. Uh, but yeah, here's all the, like, here's just like little, little calendar of events we have going on here. But there's also something else very interesting uh, that got revealed later on, which I didn't see until after I had woken up for today. 
So here we actually see another sync pair. Uh, we see Serena and Zygarde, which is interesting. Now, when I first saw this after I woke up, I didn't think it was real um, at all, uh, just because like it, it looks kind of weird with on this image. Uh, then we saw this one for the EX. I was like, okay, well, you know, that looks like that. That looks better than this one, right? Like this one doesn't look all that all that great, but apparently it is in the data mine information. And if we go over here to this uh, this website, uh, this is in French, so um, I had to tell my my browser to translate it. So hopefully things are correct. So we have uh, Signature Suit Serena, and as I got fifty percent, which is pretty cool. Uh, the downside is that it's another it's a Dragon type Pokemon, not a Ground type. But it does have ground type coverage, which is very, very good. Like in general, like, even if it's not a ground type, it has ground type coverage. And a lot of people were saying it's like you know it has to be ground type. It has only you know if the moves are all ground type, it's like y'all forget about Corn Forcer. That's that that's a move that Zygarde gets to Corn Forcer. It's also a dragon type move, but uh, special attacker. Um, this classification uh, dragon type weak to ice type moves. Uh, scrolling a little bit here. We got some decent stats. Um, I don't know what this... Okay, well, this has to be Thousand Waves, not Thousand Arrows. Uh, Thousand Arrows, also, I don't think it would really matter in this game because there's no Levitate. Although, I guess Thousand Arrows, they could make it, like, ignore... Ignore Round Guard, I guess. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Anyway, Thousand Waves, uh, it's AoE, 4 gauge move. Quite strong. Um, this is Dire Hit Plus. Does increase the catcher's hit rate by two crit hit rate by two ranks. Uh, Supreme Sanction. That's that's uh, the move I was just talking about. Uh, Corn Forcer. It's a Dragon type special move that it's AOE, which is pretty cool. Uh, understand your feelings. Increases attack and special attack uh, by six, and gains uh, gradual region. This is kind of strong. <laughs> Plus six. Although it's honestly, it's a bit weaker than uh, than the other moves we've been seeing recently. Oh, this is quite strong. Plus six special attack. Plus six attack. Uh, it doesn't raise a crit inherently by itself, um, as well. Like we've seen from a lot of other moves, you know, they have some bonkers effect. All like they'll just have this plus this, which is pretty interesting. This is also supposedly supposed to be a master fair for Kalos because they don't have a master. F yeah, they don't have a master fair yet. Um, we have Bernice Voltal Zygarde. Zygarde would be the first Master Fair. Okay, and then its sync move is all Zygarde to uh, change into Zygarde 100%, which is this one right here. Uh, this is the, the big Gundam looking Zygarde. Um, now we're scrolling a little bit more. Here is the Kalos. Mexico increases the power of offensive abilities by 10%, resistance up to offensive abilities by 20%. Uh, the more allies with Alice keyword on your team, the more powerful this effect. Uh, oh, okay, so this looks like the, the basic master passive, like the one that Leon has. And Charizard. Okay. Um, each additional sync pair uh, ability power by 10%, resist by 3% for maximum of 30% and 20%. Um, for passives, let's see. These guys next physical ability and special ability by one rank the first time enter each combat. So physical attack up and special attack up. Um, kind of like a super effective up. Or, yeah, yeah, I think it is because it says the next uh, ability. Okay. Uh, reduces the number of action required uh, by the first time. Okay, so this is Adrenaline 1. Uh, increases the power of the sync moves abilities when under the... In effect, I that one I'm not sure on. Ah, okay. I, I found it. Um... Alright, I'm just looking at the information in a, in a different window right here. So, uh, it's restraining sync up 5. It's... Um... When the target is restrained, which is it powers up the sync move when the target is restrained, which is what um, Thousand Waves does. I don't remember Thousand Waves having the path of not letting 
uh, the targets switch out after they're afflicted with it, hit with thousand waves. But uh, that's interesting. And then something something else that's kind of weird to me is that um, once it once it becomes Zygarde one hundred percent after its sync move, um, Strong Start one becomes Piercing Gaze, which Strong Start one that is. Um, that is this one, the the boost, uh, the boost. But your moves are already 100% accurate anyway, so I'm not sure why. Piercing or piercing gaze. I'm not. I mean, like it. It gives you like it allows you to ignore stages where the enemy raises their evasiveness, but I don't know how often that's going to be relevant. Like that that's going to be more niche, if anything. Um, I'm not too sure about that, but, uh, but I mean, yeah, that's pretty interesting. There's also something else that I saw. Um, we should be getting a psychic type, uh, gear event, which is pretty cool. And I think that Kalem is going to be getting EX as well, uh, from what I have, um, what I'm seeing here, which is interesting. Uh, it looks like we're gonna get some some cool new banners as well, and I think actually hold on, is it on the other page? Let me see. Uh, so something that looked like Ingo was gonna rerun, which is great because I need Ingo. I don't see it here, but I'm in data mine. It shows this. It's pretty cool. Uh, so, like, if this banner comes back, I would I would want Ingo. But uh, yeah, that's um, gonna be it for this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the the data mine information. And I'll go over the sync pairs in a separate video. It has been a little while since I've talked about sync pairs in general outside of like stream, <laughs> which I apologize about. Uh, but um yeah that should be it i mm, hopefully will have my champion stadium video up pretty soon uh, maybe later tonight or tomorrow uh but anyway i'll see you guys next time later